Robinhood might just be one of the best brokerage accounts out there. And in this video today, I want to talk about four specific reasons I think it's a great app for beginners. So the first biggest reason is something that the majority of you probably know. It's that this brokerage account is commission free. Now there's other brokerage accounts you can go out and get. There's Fidelity, E-Trade, and Vanguard. Those brokerage accounts, and in case you don't know what brokerage account is, it's you know the account you open in order to trade stocks, to buy options, and so forth. These types of accounts or these companies, they charge a commission per trade, which means that if you want to buy $100 worth of stock, you'll have to pay a $10 commit up to a $10 commission. Usually it's around $5, but let's say it's 10. So, say you only have $100 and you want to buy $100 worth of stock. Well, you can't. You only can buy $90 and then you have to pay $10 in order to issue that trade. Compare this to Robinhood where you can buy $100 worth of stock with $100 because there's no commission. So right then, per trade, Robinhood is saving you 10%. And imagine if you're consistently making trades, as in, you know, once a week you're making these trades. Over a year, that can add up to 4 times 120 or $480. Half of $1,000 is how much you'd be saving just for you plan on trading once per week. My second favorite reason I love Robinhood is because the team is committed to updating the app on a consistent basis. They're always adding more features. Just recently, Robinhood got approved for free crypto trading. They've also gotten approved for free options and they're planning to add many more features in the future. My third favorite reason I love Robinhood is because it's simple. I really, I honestly think it's idiot proof. If you gave a complete beginner or someone who's never seen the app before and you tried to tell them, okay, I want you to find this stock and then buy it, they honestly could. But with an Ameritrade account or Fidelity or Vanguard, you know, some people would actually have a lot of trouble with purchasing some stock. Also the Robinhood app, like I explained, is just very simple. There's not an overwhelming amount of indicators compared to some of the other brokerage accounts. It's very simple. It tells you what you bought it at, what your overall account is at, how much cash you have. It's very simplified so you know where to find the most basic features that a beginner would likely want to keep track of. And my fourth favorite reason for using Robinhood as a brokerage account is one that's a little unique. And it's the fact that it's limiting. I really like how Robinhood enforces how you can't day trade with less than $25,000 in the account. And I really think this helps prevent a lot of beginners from losing just tons of money trying to do penny stock trades or even trade with some um, you know well-established companies and then getting burned and then discouraging them from ever trading again additionally there's a limited amount of margin or amount of money you can borrow in order to trade and I'll do a whole video on that but I really think beginners in the beginning should avoid margin and stick to familiarizing themselves with the market with different trades and just getting the basics down and then worrying about the advanced stuff later. Because I think it's important just to get settled in and comfortable or familiar with investing before you try to go for the big leads and make these amazing plays and you know retire in the next year or so. Overall, I really hope you enjoyed this video on my four favorite reasons I think that beginners would love and really benefit from downloading Robinhood. I encourage you all to either like, comment, subscribe, let me know what kind of videos you want in the future, and I'll see you all in the video tomorrow.